Hey guys, so yeah, one of my subscribers actually uh, was wondering how to actually uh, deal with the problem with um, like milk coming out of a puppy's nose because uh, usually when you have that, you really don't want to, you know, have a serious case of pneumonia or you, you just don't even want to have pneumonia in the first place. So when a puppy usually has like milk coming out of the nose, well, there's a possibility or it could be a sign that milk has actually gotten inside the lungs and it's trying to you know come out of its nose and stuff like that so and they're just actually gonna have like bad breathing problems as well like because they're gonna be breathing by the mouth and usually puppies they're really not supposed to be breathing by by the mouth you are panting like <laughs> really they're supposed to be breathing by the nose just normally because they're gonna be they're really just gonna be having a hard time breathing. So yeah, I'll show you guys an example of how to actually remove the milk out of the puppy's lungs and describe the physics of it. And uh, yeah, so yeah, let me put you guys right here actually. So you guys see me? All right. And uh, yeah, come here, boo boo. And gonna be showing a foam ball right here. So uh, even though these guys are big enough, uh, you know, there's still a chance, but I'll show you guys right now. What are you doing, dude? So when, when, when you hold a puppy, right? I want you to hold a puppy on its back like this, and you want to hold its head like this. You want to hold it like pretty good, and make sure they're comfortable too. You don't hold it, and you don't want to make sure you know it's not loose or nothing at all. Just make sure everything stays parallel and straight. And when you do this, right, I'm gonna put it like I'm gonna go like this, and then I'm gonna rock them like that, and go like you go up slow. And as you guys see the physics, right, when I rock them down like that. And then his lungs and the milk should come out of his no, like come could come out of his lungs like that. So you go like boom, hold it good, boom, just like that. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So you want to go up slow, as you guys saw. I'm going up slow, right? I'm going up slow, and then uh, you want to rock him. You want to like swing him down like pretty like an okay speed, as you guys see. You know, you don't have to do it too fast, but you know, do it a good like a good power, good speed. Uh, when you're going down so that way uh you can try to get all the milk you know come out of his uh out of his lungs so and yeah that's uh that's pretty much it sorry boo boo and uh yeah so he is actually still available for a reservation you guys uh i'm still wondering so everybody else is reserved already so <clears throat> uh that's pretty much it for the video so uh yeah um hopefully Lena, that's uh that's a good hopefully i explained that pretty good for you so <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. So if you guys don't know what pneumonia actually is, man, um, <clears throat> it's just like a like inflammation or an infection of the lungs, and um, the only the only really like way to tell if they actually like really have that, right? <clears throat> if they actually really have that, right? So let me get them again to see if they really actually have that. Is if you hear them breathing, right? I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> He's breathing normal. And with a puppy that has pneumonia, it's it, it sounds really like crack like crackled and crackly. Is having a word? So like it really sounds like that. So every time they read, it's not really supposed to sound like that. It's supposed to sound normal. So <clears throat> that's how you know a puppy is is has pneumonia. And you don't need all that special hearing shit uh, because you can actually hear it like up close. You can actually hear it pretty loud if you hear it up close, you know, just bring it up to your ear. You can actually hear that cracking sound if a puppy has pneumonia. And usually when you do have that case of pneumonia, the only best option or best bet that you can do is take them to the vet and, you know, possibly just be giving them maybe antibiotics or amoxicillin, which is a form of antibiotics as well. And that's that's pretty much the only the only hope of uh make sure they they go like heal through that and recover from that because guys sometimes when you do have newborns or prematures sometimes you know the puppies can actually die from pneumonia and it couldn't be anything else they just cannot they have a hard time breathing they cannot breathe and yeah they they can die from pneumonia so it's uh it's pretty bad um which is why i i do not bottle feed my puppies no more you know i always tube feed because since i'm since I'm such a pro at it now, you know, it's it's no problem. You know, no matter what age they are, no matter if they're literally newborns or literally four weeks, I can still do it. You know, it's not bad. So every time, you know, when you bottle feed, especially if it's a cliff palate for sure, when it's a cliff palate, what's up, brother? But if it's a cliff palate, there is a higher chance in their 
a chance of putting milk inside of its lungs and they're more prone to actually get pneumonia. So that's pretty much it for the end of, uh, the video for you guys. So hopefully you guys learned something from that and with pneumonia and you know with clay palate and stuff like that. So if you guys don't know actually how to tube feed, I actually do have a video of that. So I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, there's actually two videos that you can watch separately if, uh, if you're that type of person to watch uh, two videos to actually really make sure. If not, if you're so scared, um, you can call my number, you can FaceTime me, you know, it's totally fine. You can text me ahead of time. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yep. Hey, boo boo. And he's still available for reservation. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching my video uh, with this one. And, yeah, hopefully you guys learned some of that. And like, subscribe, and peace out. Hello, boo boo. Here we go, go.